Hi guys, this tutorial is about making a bootable USB drive. We're going to use in this tutorial, in this case, we're going to use Hiram's Boot CD version 2 ISO. We need the first step we need to do is to mount the ISO file. We're going to need a software called Virtual Clone Drive. So to download this, go to sliceof.com. Then, well, my language in, is in Spanish, so it's nothing important. So find virtual clone drive. This descargar means download, download, then virtual clone drive freeware 5.4.5.0 then download now we need to install this software yes well I'm not going to do this because I have it already here yeah. just install it and we're going to go to do this we need to right click on the ISO file right click on it then mount virtual cloud drive and assign the assigned letter click it right here I have found it now we already have this video ROM drive H boot disk it's the ISO file that we mounted using the virtual cloud drive now set set aside this open command prompt Type in CMD. Now we need to enter <coughs> to the disk partitioner command prompt. Type disk part oh sorry. It's no space. Now the first thing we need to do is to we need to look what disks are connected to the computer and select the USB drive that we want to put our ISO file to make it bootable. So we need to type list disk there. So it's obvious that my USB drive is on disk one online three two MB or three gigabyte free free zero bytes. We need to format this disk. So to do that, we need to select select this one. Then click clean or type clean. Sorry create partition primary now we we already have the primary partition on the USB disk or USB drive now we need to select the partition primary select partition 1 enter now active to make it active mark our partition as active then format command format fs equals ntfs now we need to wait until the format complete i'm gonna pause the video So the format process is complete. I'm gonna get person. Then wait. There. This part has this part successfully format the volume. So next step, we need to assign. Type type assign. 
to assign the drive letter of the USB bootable drive. Now it will be detected automatically. It was assigned to drive letter I. Now we need to this. So I'm open the folder. It would it should be empty. Now we need to exit this formatting set. command prompt. Exit. Now let's go back to the command prompt. There are two cases. If you are using a netbook without a CD room drive or a DVD drive, we need to use the xcopy command. But if you have a if you need to copy from a CD drive or a DVD drive, we're going to need or to use the bootsec command. So first on the case of copying from a netbook from ISO fine without CD or DVD room drive. We need to type X copy then the the file where we need to copy it's on the my computer. In this case it should be drive letter drive H so X copy H then slash wait asterisk the asterisk backslash s e f then the drive where you want to copy the file so oh, wait. our formatted drive is the drive i so i then backslash or slash like that so once you hit enter it will start copying the files the ISO files to the USB drive uh, I'm not going to press the enter because it will <laughs> the copying of the files that will take so long about 30 minutes or 15 minutes depends on the size of the file you're going to copy now so once it's finished it's the USB is already ready and you can use it to boot on your computer now in the case of copying from a CD CD room drive or a DVD room, DVD room drive we're going to need to use the bootsec command then to, to do that you just type the which in this example I have a DVD on my drive which is the it's just a Linksys range extender driver so in this case it's in drive F to do that just type F then CD boot CD boot oh, oh. sorry F CD boot Oh wait <laughs> CD There It will come out Instead of drive C it, it will be the drive F now So We need to pre We need to type CD Boot and hit enter the system cannot find the path specified well maybe the because I don't have a CD which contains ISO file so but if you have an for example a Windows Windows CD or live CD it will be it will not be showing this error the system cannot find the path specified but if you have the right CD just type bootsec bootsec dot exe slash nt60 then the drive where you want to transfer the file so in our case it's the drive i so i just like that then hit enter so it would it should be copying the files 
and as, as long as it finished the the CD is re or the USB is ready and ready to use so that's all thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and I apologize for my English because I'm uh, this is my first tutorial I'm a bit nervous and <laughs> well, just sorry <laughs> I apologize thank you